Welcome to Electron Online. Sometimes it's not always clear what the author of the problem actually intended for us to read or intended for us to interpret the sentence they write. In this case, we have the following sentence. The reciprocal of the sum of a number and 4 reduced by twice the number. So how do we interpret that? Well, let's take a look. This can actually be interpreted in two ways. The first thing we can say it's the reciprocal of the sum of a number and 4 reduced by twice the number. So in a way we can think of it as this, the reciprocal which means 1 over the sum of two things. If we interpret it that way it will look like this, the reciprocal of the sum of a number, an unknown number, let's call it x, plus and 4 reduced by twice the number, 4 minus 2x. If we interpret it this way, this will look like 1 divided by x minus 2x, which is minus x plus 4. Or we can interpret it this way. The reciprocal, 1 over the sum of two things, of a number and 4, a number and 4, so here this is the reciprocal of the sum of two things, which is a number and 4, reduced by twice the number. So you can see we can actually interpret this in two very different ways, and they would be both correct. The author probably didn't realize that it could be interpreted like this, and it can be interpreted like this. Now we can go ahead and take this form, because this one is already in its simplest form, we could take this form and write it as a single rational expression. In order to do that, we need to find the common denominator. So this can be written as 1 over x plus 4 minus 2x, and we're going to write this over 1. So now, in order to make this a common denominator, we have to multiply this denominator by x plus 4, and we have to multiply the numerator then, of course, by x plus 4 as well. And then, we have one common denominator, and the numerator can be written as 1 minus, that would be 2x times x plus 4, all over x plus 4. And of course, resist the temptation to try and eliminate the x plus 4s because you're not allowed to do that because the negative sign here. But multiplying everything through in the numerator, this gives us 1 minus 2x squared minus 8x all over x plus 4. And then finally, when I, when I pull out a negative sign, this can be written as minus. The numerator, we get 2x squared plus 8x minus 1 over x plus 4 because we always like to write the x squared term as a positive term if possible. And so that's the most reduced form of this original expression. And that is how it's done.